Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we're checking out how you can install custom callouts to your 5PD installation. This is a, we're expecting in this video you have 5PD installed and working and everything. If you don't know how to install 5PD or if you want to create a server and install 5PD, you can do so by looking at our previous videos on how to set up a 5PD server. It will be linked in the description if you haven't seen it already, along with the cards in the top right hand corner of the screen. All right, so let's just get straight into it. So we have a bunch of community callouts um, that people have made over on the GTA Police Mods forums. Uh, these are all available under the downloads, 5PD download section. So you got a bunch of these. You can see there's massive amounts of callouts already coming out. And most of them do work on 1.0.5.1.2 or whatever version of the uh, 5PD you're on. The current version is 1.0.5.2. Um, so the, all the 1.5 callouts that have been updated to 1.05, those will all work. I'm getting the numbers confused. It's early and I'm still tired. So anyway, uh, we're going to be talking about how you can actually install our, uh, callout packs, which are animal callouts, group callouts, and car callouts. Um, but of course you can do this with any other callout pack on the for designed for 5PD. Please note, don't use LSPDFR callouts in here. They won't work. Don't know why people keep asking me about that. That's not how this works. It's a completely different API, completely different callouts. That's all you have to worry about. So in order to download it, you'll click on one of the callout pages and you'll go over to download this file. Click that, make sure you agree and download to your read that, agree and download, and then pick the version depending on what version you're gonna use. I always recommend using the latest version of the callout pack, which you can see mine is 1.0.4. And I'm just gonna download this and you can see I'm gonna do this for every single one of these. Download my 1.06 for this one and download the call car call or call out pack as well. And I'll just download all three and you can see they have downloaded to the folder here. I'm just going to open these so I have them open and I'm going to minimize my tab and we're going to go ahead and open our server data folder where you can see you have your resources server.cfg file and everything. You'll go into the resource file, go into the 5pd folder and this is where we're actually going to do things and we're going to put all of our callouts we downloaded in the callouts folder in your 5pd folder. By default there's about six callouts in here but I removed them for easiness of viewing this video and just to make it a little bit easier to figure out how you install stuff. So you can see when you download my callouts or anybody else's callouts normally they'll either come in a folder or just a .dll.net file. In this case I give you a folder that has the car callouts.net.dll and a readme file. The readme file I provide in all of my callouts just explains where you can get help on our discord server leave feedback for them or add ideas to our feedback site, show you how to install it, and all of the types of callouts which come inside of the callout pack. Then to install, all you need to do is drive, drag the .net.dll file into your 5pd callouts folder, and you're going to do this the same with every single one of the callouts you want to include in your server. In our case, I'm just going to drag these three into here, and then you are ready to go. Start your 5m server however you have it set up to start. You can see it's going to load in and it's going to load everything up and we're going to go ahead and join ourselves using our 5m client to make sure everything loads. You can see everything is loaded up correctly. All the callout configuration files and stuff has been loaded. So we know we are ready to go in game and test out these callouts and make sure they have worked. So I'm going to go hop over in game and I'll be right back. So once you load into your 5PD server, all you have to do is press F11 to go on duty. And you can see once you go on duty, it's probably going to send you a callout. And you can see there was a slow driver callout there. So that confirms that our car callouts plugin or add-on resources have been working. I'm just going to go ahead and teleport to a police station, get a loadout, get our car so we can go ahead and test out some of these cool features and all of this stuff. So you can see we are in, 5PD is working, we are on duty according to the top left hand corner of the game. I'm gonna go ahead and go into full screen for you so you can see it a little bit easier, there you go. So you can see we are in, we're just gonna go ahead and wait for a call out to come out and see what we can get ourselves into just to test if everything is working properly. Um, reckless driver, here we go. So we can go ahead and press Y to accept this call and you can see, there we go, Reckless Driver responding. Um, so you can see our call, car callouts pack is working successfully well and um, correctly. Can't speak today. Also use the new debugging uh, tool. If you are an admin on the server, by pressing Z, go to debugging and you can see there's a, you can create force start any of these. So if we wanted to force start the pursuit of armed suspects, we can. Press Y to accept it. 
press um, and then we'll just head over there and make sure this is working as well cut me off um, but you can see everything is working pretty well and of course if you want to download any of my callouts these are them you can find them on the 5pd website under the 5pd download section uh, we have lots of updates planned along with bug fixes and everything else um, so you can see there's text at the bottom using the suspect's name inside of the vehicle oh they're on a motorcycle and they are for sure shoot for sure shooting at me um, so you can see this is the pursuit of armed suspects and um, okay, suspect's down. Um, so you can see, this is the call out. Uh, suspect's running, actually. No, come back here. So it looks like we got one sus the suspect with the guns down, and we're going to arrest a second suspect. So you can see this is working properly. Everything is going well. We're going to go ahead and cuff the suspect here. Suspect has been cuffed. Very good. So you can see our call outs are working, and everything is good to go here. So... Um, if you have any questions regarding how to set this up or anything, I am happy to um, keep these in mind and you can just let me know the suggestions down in the comments below and I'll be happy to do videos on them if it's a video suggestion or happy to add a call out on it if it's a call out suggestion. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles and I'll see you in the next video.